Hey everybody, welcome back to One and Only Gaming. Here we're starting up part five of Alan Wake. Really exciting because we just found out that Rose is being controlled by the woman in black and she is creepy as crap. So I want to figure out what's going on and we're the best friend Barry. So let's hop right back into it. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Hi Randolph. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? Me. I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Okay. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all hey, Rusty, sorts you got a bum leg stuff there? from the local newspapers archives. This place maybe is I, maybe I can, crazy. Maybe I can you. Disappearances, yeah. mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this. Most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. What? Oh, this is Rose's place. Uh, I really, I have to wait. Dude, I completely forgot your name already. I'm calling you Stumpy. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. I am anyway, so confused. Al, I'm just getting to the best Why do we need part? to go that way? All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. Ah. What? The lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. What are you doing, dude? Uh, come on, Stumpy. Let's pick up the face a little bit. Come on, jump, jump. <laughs> well, mister... This here's Rose's trailer. Thank you. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. <gasps> Welcome to. Baby, I missed you. To. Oh dear, Mr. Wade. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm. I'm so glad you're What's here. Wrong with you. Rose, you have my manuscript. Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please come in. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. How do you not see that I there's something fucking wrong with her? Muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? of these people it's coming for you hiding in my barber's skin I'm too weak to stop it you must turn the lights on I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife you must finish what you started I insist you must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work, boy. No, that's a big I felt no. nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore. 
but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very Why strict. Why is a grown-ass woman I'm running sleeping faster and faster. on a twin bed? My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a Rose horror Rose took story. a day from me. I had close. less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Now you get it. Now you understand. Milk and sugar. My gun and flashlight were gone. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours. Dare way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. I have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. I wonder why I feel like the police are going to show up. Bam. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here. Ah, the flag. Is it actually a kid weird? Nah, it's just like a solid texture. Hey, bud! Hey, man, what's going on? What you doing? Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. You open what fire. I, I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. What a retard! Who the hell shoots like that into- I hated to leave Barry behind, him. but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wade! Come on! Take it easy! Nope. I'm gonna get away. You're not gonna find me. Cause I'm a master of being sneaky. See? I'm gonna be- oh, If only I can crouch, see? I'm hopping like a bunny. Means that you can't find me. <laughs> they got lights. Stop running! Can they see me? No. Sweet. The chase is on. Oh my god, Alan, if now was ever time to push through your crappy breathing and stamina, now would be it. Oh my god. He makes me feel... I feel like I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger compared to this dude. You know what? I'll let you catch your breath. Oh. There we go. And our reward for us? Manifest page! For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. 
Oh, so I'm the reason that it woke back up. No. Uh, the Children of the Elder God, which is the band that's in here, played by Poe to the, uh, Poe to the Fall. Dude, two, two or three. No, three. Three really good songs. See? I tell you not to dick with me. You're gonna get ahead. How about a move? How about a move? How about a move? Um... Alrighty. Drop. Yes! I'm sorry, I've just been always been waiting to just kill Alan one time. <laughs> Who is shooting the gun? This man. Oh, that is trippy, man. You're freaking me out. Alright. Come across this bridge. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Can I get a gun? Nope. What do you mean escape the police? I'm basically escaping. This horror them. was everywhere I went, circling me. The Whee! cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Take him out. It don't mess with Alan Wake. I got buddies in dark places. Literally. Jeez. <gasps> yeah, I wanna see. That the much broadcast in the so distance far. was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. Well, a natural shadow has clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was nope. trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Oh, wait, really? There was no power to the searchlight. Ba bam! Got cool. the thermos. All right, time to turn on a generator. Feel like a fucking badass. Um, I see the problem. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Let's go. Pull three times. Searchlight is back on. I can aim this bad boy. Bam! That is awesome. I want one of these the entire game. Whee! I'm gonna hurt myself. Yeah! Why? Because I'm Alan Wick. Alan Wick don't care. Hello, I hear creaking. Could it be my imminent doom? Oh, Jesus. Well, what was that? Flashlight! Friggin' flashlight! Ugh! Praise everyone! Oh, you don't 
Mmm. I got a flash. Like, I got a flash. Like, yeah. See this? It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. I'm sure they work the same as flares. Oh, mother! Ha! Sweet hotness. Ah! <laughs> Can't mess with the wakester. Straight out, bomb your ass. Hello. And here's another call. Bam, bam. You're on KBFFM with okay. Pat Man. Milky buddy, Pat. What's on your mind, Mill? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over yes, there. Yes, we know there's a big ruckus yeah, because I was over there. And apparently Agent Nightingale thought he was gonna be super slick. <laughs> For fudgy's sake. Nope. Bam, all y'all died. Oh, jeez. Get the There we go. I know that was a waste of two, but that big guy was gonna totally wreck my day. Oh. <sighs> Alan, Jesus Christ, you almost fell off the edge. Let the man destroy the paper. Presence. Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Wow. I don't like this old lady. I'm gonna punch her in the face. What a jerk. You don't mess with Rose, man. She was cool. She was happy. And she was like super in love with Alan Wake, but she was nice and charming. I'm gonna kill that old lady. How about if I just run? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! They could run, Alan. They are more in shape than you. Okay, cops. You know I'm not so bad about the cops. Let me let me give 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 stuff. Give me stuff. Oh, Flashbangs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. I wish I had like unlimited flashbangs. And of course, I'm gonna get the fire right when my stamina is the lowest. Fantastic! Right here. I think this is like the. Oh, this is like my least favorite part of the game. I do not like not having a gun! Oh, Jesus! Go! That wasn't even fair! It's like jumped up. All right, reached a radio station. Let's go. Did it? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Alan, I swear. Uh, work out. I got the thermostat. So you know what? That always wins. Oh, let's reach over from over there. How was that open for me? This is nice. Need some better chairs out here. Nope. 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 Nope.
Come on in, Mr. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. No way to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Dickhead, man. I hope you get taken over by the darkness so I can freaking shoot you. What a dick. Alright, everybody. So that ends part five of our Alan Wake playthrough. Thank you so much for stopping by. Really curious to see what happens next with Alan going through the forest. He still doesn't have a gun, so that is like really like stressful. But again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Guy just died. Oh wait, no, he is still alive.